Hello and welcome back to Oops All Annas. Um, everyone's here is training. Uh, who the hell are you? That I've got my workout in. I should go to the grotto and make sure to feed Sami. Or, sorry, feed Kaga, of course. Make sure that he, you know, has enough food and uh, grows big and strong. And yeah, eat that orange. Rind and everything. Thank you for the bond fragments. A hundred of them. Wonderful. And now we can uh, do other preps and go to the next chapter. Well, uh, Fram and Anna really liked the uh, the dainty caramel nut cake, apparently. So that's that's good. I prepared a bit extra. Thanks, Louis. Hey, I actually won. Well, Yunako was close to leveling up, so I just gave her some uh, time in the arena, and well, maybe next time. Also decided to give Fram a level up, which is fine. The Iron Dagger just benefits so much from being forged. Like, from plus two to plus three, it gets plus two might. It's kind of ridiculous. And then it gets another plus two might and five hit from being forged to plus four. So I'm not going to pass this up. This is just absurd. So I'm going to grab this. And we can now go over to chapter seven. Dark Emblem. Ooh, spooky. So in this chapter, in addition to getting uh, Lapis, Citrine, and Hall Crysts, um, we get to bring nine other units. So that's pretty generous. However, the enemy density on this map is quite high, and there are a lot of flyers who tend to be a bit on the annoying side and maddening. So I'll have to prepare for that. Uh, the enemy boss is, of course, Hortensia, and um, she does drop a Master Seal, but we can't really use those yet. And, of course, Veteran Plus. And... Um, at least here, in battle, big personality, but, um, yeah. Even though she looks like an Anna, she doesn't get her Hortensia skill. And, of course, um, Cold Mary is here, and Rosado, they also get their base skills. So, that'll be something to contend with. Okay, so we're bringing, uh, obviously a Leer, but given the, um, well, I'll go over it. A Leer, Vander... Saline is bringing Celica, Fran, Chloe is bringing Sigurd again, Yunaka, Etie, Lu Louis is getting Marth this time, and Anna is bringing Makaya. So, uh, yeah, we should be ready to go. We must deal with them quickly and return to the castle. There's not a moment to spare. So, Alchrist. Of course, Prince Alchrist. Leave it to us. Introduces us to the uh, retainers we'll back in time for dinner kind of such confidence but i'm still concerned about casualties and then they all join us looks like it's starting to your positions everyone oh the divine dragon is absolutely oh Hortensia oh. is the boss of course and uh, for now, it looks like she's uh, pretty normal. So, uh, for starters, I do want to. Prince Alchrist, Citrine, stay back. I'll handle this. Yeah, I can yeah. lock down anyone who stands in our way. Gonna use you for one chapter, probably. Smash weapons are, are interesting and will be somewhat useful on this map since there are uh, protection tiles that enemies are standing on, which are a bit concerning. But for now, we're gonna use this deal bow to just shoot down this flyer with all crisps and no choice but to win yeah that's useful and then uh you could smash this one back or as your steward I can try my luck by just like doing this for a 75 percent chance I'd rather just do the smash first Me, but only right? if I can kill the other Lance Your armor here, which I can do as long as I use Saline here. 
just straight up do 40 damage. And that works out nicely. Uh, I guess Show technically Citrine ignores uh, avoid bonuses here, but can't quite kill, so I'm gonna try this. Um, it may or may not be worth the effort. I guess no one will hurt her as long as we do some things correctly. Okay. So that's nice. Now's our chance. Just take this tile away now. And just destroy this guy of Thander. Alright, completely destroyed. Uh, of course, though, we're gonna get broken by this flyer, but that's okay. I live to serve. We can at least move up with Louis and tank some attacks here. Um, how much speed do you guys have? 9, 7, 15. Steel Ants is fine. Okay, uh... Yeah, this is one of those maps where the brown floor plus the color of the enemy range is kind play. of... kind of just blends together, but, um... I'll just put a Weir here, I guess, and move everyone else up gotcha. a little bit. Once we get everyone positioned, we'll just see what happens next turn. This is where we get a cool cutscene. And then we get introduced to Dark Sync. That emblem is a formidable foe. Nearby enemies can join in her attack. As the enemies come over to try to attack Louis, and well, it's a pretty underwhelming attack. But you know, they're trying their best. And um, here's Vander. Oh yeah, the tile prevents him from being broken. I forgot about that. That's actually really good. Okay. Anyway, uh, Hortensia and three question marks. I don't know who this person could possibly be. And there's definitely not a hint of it when you highlight the three question marks. So, who knows? All right, we'll take this nice and slow and just send Yunaka here to assassinate one of these mages. Perfect. That's one down. This other mage can kind of attack various squares here, but not many. Gonna have Alchrist shoot one. I, I'm sorry. And then have Etia just shoot the other. Pretty weak. And that settles that. Now there's these two to worry about. So I think if Anna engages... ...and uses Shine, uh, she cannot even come close to killing there. Wow, okay. Not a big deal. Uh, we can use Thunder here to soften you up. Since we are dealing with Javelin. And then Anna can go for the break here with the Iron Axe. That should do the trick. There we go. Followed by uh, Saline burning this guy. Or this person. There we go. That makes this area a lot safer, except for the mage that's here still. But I think Chloe can... Oh, well, I can one round it up. Okay. Let's do it then. Thank you, Momentum. 
momentum adds <laughs> attack for each tile that you move over, which is really handy. And I'm gonna actually back up so I can take advantage of it again. Next turn. Make sure that um, Lapis is healed up. Hey, thanks. And just position our units a little bit. Just help bait them a little bit. Like this. Hmm, should have switched to the pole axe there. Oh well. Here they come. Yeah, the great axe, iron great axe attacks last, so. Uh, Vander got pushed back, but that's okay. He's alive. Alright, there's two more of these two uh, flyers to deal with. Unfortunately, though, Alcris is all the way over here. So, no help from him this time. They go all the way over here. Uh, I can break one, but I can't quite uh, kill, although Yunaka might be able to do something. Mm, not much. I can still fight. Of course, there's always Vander. You can pretty much always do damage, no matter what. I think the play might be to actually back out of these and let Alchrist catch up a little bit. These have five moves, so... Uh, I'm gonna go over here and just throw a javelin. And that is fine, but now we have to kill the archer that's there, which shouldn't be too hard for our other teams to handle. Also, we can just, you know, back off, like so. Um... I guess if we want to be really cheeky, we can just run all the way over here and, and kill the archer, but... I think what I'd rather do is... Oh yeah, there's these flyers here as well. Uh, we gotta probably back up here too. Yeah, let's just back everyone up around these two tiles. These uh, protection tiles. Um, what kind of bow do you have? An iron bow? Alright, I'll pull that. A bander. And a hand axe, that should do. Uh, get you over here. And pull Yunaka back as well. And then just... Oops, I put Vander to... Oh well, we'll, he we'll heal him next turn, I guess. Or now we can't heal with Anna either. Eh, that was kind of dumb. Oh well, we'll just... You know, chill here, I guess. Uh... Yeah, we should be in a good position now to handle the oncoming enemies. Yeah, so Vander just immediately destroys this person. I will defend always. And then the incoming um, axe fighter just gets destroyed by a crit. That's nice. I could have even equipped the Rider Bane there, but I forgot <laughs> that Louie was carrying one. Oh boy. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's shoot down this random Illusion soldier. Was a good session. And then, uh, just break this one. Cool. Uh, should be able to follow up with this to almost kill. Then either Citrine or Saline, Saline can step in here. Um, let's just give it to you since you're closer. Okay, that's a very relatively safe area now. Uh, to make it even safer, I'm going to use Alchrist. I'll Chris with the steel bow to shoot down this one. Oh, that's not good. All right, I guess we'll see if we can recover that. Uh, Citrine attacks with thunder here. Hmm. 
and then we uh, go like this maybe to do the most damage to you. Also block this one from going north. That could work. And then, uh, maybe Yunaka throws some knives, or a knife. And I guess we just kill the Iron Blade, but we'll get hit first. It's kind of messy. I gotta just kill on the first hit. So, compact axe Anna it is, I guess. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we just have to uh, destroy this person. Easier said than done. It's kind of fast. Uh, if we go here and heal Vander, we basically need to block the flyer with Vander now so that the, the flyer doesn't attack. Um, Fram. So, uh, yeah, this is this is fine. And um, this is a pretty safe setup now. We're just gonna protect all crists a little bit better. Yeah, that works. Goes for Vander anyway because Axe Wielder. So, you know, all that effort and so on. We have this emblem energy, and we haven't really engaged anything yet, so, um... I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but I'm gonna move up anyway. This one's gonna die soon, so let's just tag these two. Okay. Then we just start moving up our units. Feed this one over to Anna. Not bad. And a level up already. That's wild. Onward. Don't want to pull a sword user. But I am kind of tempted to see if that uh, martial artist will go for Vander. So let's stand here and heal. Put Chloe here just to see what happens. Slim Lance equipped. Uh, swing Fram around. Get all of our other units in the middle area of the map now. And then watch the enemies come to us. All right, it's fine. We just needed to uh, pull with an uh, with an uh, evasive unit, and we we did that. And now everyone's coming here. So um, I think now's the time to break out the uh, engage rings, probably. We do no damage if we throw a hand axe. We do 18 if we use shine, which is, you know, not bad, but we gotta at least weaken you a little bit first. And, um, use saline to just kill this one. Alright. It's another one down. And more money. Etia can easily shoot this one down as long as she doesn't miss. Great. Pretty weak. But now she's in range of these two enemies. One has an iron bow and one has an iron axe. Iron axe guy has to come around and hit Etia from here, and the iron bow person can just shoot here, so um Getting rid of the the axe cab is not going to work easily, so I think the best our best bet is to just 
Louis has 16 defense and gets broken by these two. Well, no, he doesn't because he's armored. Uh, I keep forgetting that because I keep I kept reclassing him in my last playthrough. Anyway, here are the axe units. We just have to take hits from them. It shouldn't be too bad. We can't actually do damage with Louis there, so um, awkward. Anything. Or Vander. And I doubt Hulkris can do anything. I need someone that can do more than 21 physical attack or more than 4 magic attack. Alright, well, let's go here and um, use Shine. Maybe we'll crit or something. Or we can use backup attacks. Since Anne is a backup unit and has Shine equipped right now, we can go for cheeky javelin toss. Do chain attack damage. And then use Vander's hand axe to do the same thing. A magnificent show of skill. And that works out nicely enough. A bit janky, but it is what it is. Uh, as much as I want to get rid of this flyer, it's not easy to do safely. So I think what I'll do instead is, is it go time? Ask, uh, say, uh, Chloe up to there, have Fram go in and just heal her up. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Gonna put you here just to protect Etie, I think. And back you off a little bit. And also move Alchrist up to here with an Iron Bow equipped. And hopefully, he can just survive through um, excellent dodging techniques. Yeah, going for Alir makes sense, I guess, kind of. Alright, so far so good. Painful, but, you know, we can take it. Alright. Not too bad, I guess. But now we do have to clean up this area in general, so if we go take Chloe over here, and then attack with Sigurd's Rider's Bane, that kills. We just have to hit an 88, which is not awful, really. Alright, nice. If this love is a crime. That frees some space for Alchrist to head south now. Please don't worry. And shoot this flyer with a steel bow. I'll apologize later. All right. Really cleaning up here. Now I'm gonna have Yunaka hit this monk a couple times with knives. You're dead. Or yeah, that works me. out nicely. I was just hoping to injure, but killing is good too. And uh, these two archers are pretty much at our mercy, and then we have to kill this person as well, which is um, not hard, theoretically. Louis also has a Rider's Bane. Oops. That's the Rider's Bane. It does 25, so not enough to kill on its own, but... Um, Certainly have to do a lot of damage. Let's break you with a Leer first. And then have Louis go with a Rider Spain. Or miss. Okay, so kill. Very good. 
Saline should not have an easy, should not have a hard time with this one. Pretty good. Uh, it was just a matter of this one archer who uh, multiple units can actually just kill, but I think I'll just have um, Anna do it. The Iron Axe works just fine here. I feel the potential. I'm sure you do. All right, so um, the enemies are pretty much cleaned up. We just have to bait Hortensia in and then, uh, you know, kill her friends. We don't actually have to kill our friends. We can just leave them alive and just gang up on Hortensia. But we have to get set up for that. So let's move our units a bit closer to her range without going into her range directly, ideally. All right, so I think the best bet for baiting in Hortensia... I forget if Hortensia actually moves... Um, I guess I think she has to definitely be able to hit and do damage, so I guess Vander will do. And we still should be able to chain guard, at least. Any customers? I'll just have Anna mend Alcris stuff. You're too kind to me. The boss does have veteran plus, so like I'll protect you. There's only so much we can do with our bows, but I'll move them up anyway. And um Yeah, we're pretty much ready to take on Hortensia. I'll just get you over here. Have those two wait. All right, they didn't. She didn't move. That's fine. We'll just bait with a uh, another another way. I think we can bait like one of her other units and her at the same time. That would be that would work. So maybe if we put someone here. That might work. Just put you here for a sec so that we can recharge Anna. And then uh, maybe stick Chloe here. All right, so she has to be able to do damage with all for one, I think. That is what is uh, the issue. So I guess we have to leave Chloe here or actually Vander takes more damage from all for one. So I guess Chloe's gonna have to do it. Not that dodging will help, but I'll put you here. And that'll have to do, I think. And then we just leave everyone else where they are for now. And wait for the inevitable. Here comes one unit, another unit. And now Chloe's level nine. It's pretty neat. You got an emblem ring? Better cough it up. I challenge my feet. All right, this will be fine. Taking the lead. Ouch. Okay, great. Now we have Hortensia right where we want her. We don't need to kill Rosado for a Steel Axe. That's just kind of a waste of time. So let's focus all of our efforts on Hortensia here. If I have Anna throw a Hand Axe here, don't need to engage necessarily, but I like there's no real harm in it since we're going to finish this up in two turns, ideally, or one even. I'm going to throw a Hand Axe from here so that she can join in on Chain Attacks. Okay. Swing Citrine around to uh, just trigger a chain attack, I guess, although I'd rather go through her HP a little bit faster. Let's see if engaging will help. Join me. 
Cloud Star rush you to do 14 damage. That's something, I guess. We have 13 defense, so um, in theory, we should be able to chew through your defenses. Let's attack with you first to get a second chain attacker up here. Not that attacking was really necessary, but getting the chain attack in at least was good. Can't do damage with magic with Citrine either way, so I'm gonna use uh, Thunder from here to just trigger some more chain attacks. Followed by uh, maybe Etia shooting with a steel bow or. Um, Alchrist shooting with a steel bow. Then we have to do 8 or 10 damage. Let's see if, what we can do with um, Talika's power here. We can get you down to 2. So I'm going to save that for a little bit later. What I really should have done is attacked earlyish with Yunaka to get Hortensia poisoned a bit more. But I can do that now, I guess. Alright, now we can do this, I guess. Return the ring. No way. Alright, that's a good argument. About returning rings and such. I won't forget you. Alright, that uh that's one HP bar down, one to go. I've got to hang on. Let's back Chloe up and throw a javelin from here now. Move her so that we can use that spot for someone else, like all Christ's. Use the steel bow. All right, we're good. Now we just have Salian engage, or Ragnarok over here, and just uh, blow Hortensia up. So, you know, that was a that was a pretty smooth chapter, I would say. No fair. Well... Master Seal obtained. I only have the level 10 units that I just recruited, I think. So, uh... Yeah. Maybe next, maybe next chapter we'll get some level 10 units. Sure is. Well, to the victor goes the spoils. Such as nuts. Did I mess something up? No, you didn't, Alchrist. You're fine. Um you might need to recolor your hair though. Thanks for watching and have a good one.